Alright guys, remember this video clip here from the Stelta 737? Literally just tipping towards the tail. Great operation there, great ground crew. And actually the plane came down after too, right? Yeah, rest in peace nose landing gear. Normal Reiner landing. 737 can normally easily do that, no worries. <laughs> But yeah, that is a perfect segue to today's video topic. Yeah, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Another Swiss 001 video. Today we're back, finally in the flight simulator. Why am I saying finally? We're always in the flights. Literally, we're doing this pretty much every day now, okay? Yeah, today we're back uh, experimenting around with stuff. And today, we're going to experiment around with center of gravity in planes. I'm not gonna explain center of gravity now, because it makes sense, right? It's defined by, for example, how many passengers sit where, for example, if there's more passengers in the front, obviously the plane is going to be a little front heavy. So the plane is going to tip towards the front, which I can actually hear the slider at the center of gravity. It's quite nice to play around with it, which is why I'm exactly doing this video. For example, now we have a very, very heavy passenger on board here in front, maybe a heavy pilot. I mean, quite normal on an American flight. But also we've got the opposite side as well, where uh, the plane's a little tail heavy and kind of takes off already without any actual f flight. You know what I mean? <laughs> Rest in peace tail right there. See, we're gonna have a lot of fun today. <laughs> so that's what center of gravity is simply explained. It's just weight distribution. Um, and uh, it's just very funny to play around with us here in the flight simulator, isn't it? I mean, it is really important for flying and there's been some accidents before. I mean, only recently I saw this article on simply flying where an imbalanced A320 from Alitalia had a tail strike like this on takeoff because there were too many passengers sitting in the back compared to in front. Right, so it's important to keep balance there, and that's just a very interesting topic that we haven't really talked about yet, right? Now, um, let's actually just go ahead and take off this 737. Uh, we can, for example, just make this plane a little tail heavy. We have a very heavy passenger on board in the back, right here. There we go. This he very, very heavy passenger is lifting almost the, the nose up to one meter, so this is probably not going to be a successful flight, but I guess we're going to find out, you know? All right, let's just take off. Plane's complaining because I have the brake still on. Now, this is oh, see, this. This is what exactly happened to Alitalia's flight. A little bit of a tail strike here and there. I mean, let's just see if we can actually take off, though. That's probably important. Maybe uh, trim out the plane a little bit. Okay, now we've taken off, actually. The plane is flying quite well, isn't it? We can tell, though, even though it's airborne, yeah, this doesn't fly very properly. Like, I've never actually flown a plane out of center of gravity like this, but I imagine that the handling is going to be a little funky or something, or you may uh, be scared for life, probably, to put it this way. I mean, just pulling up all the way probably is a very risky situation, right? Yeah, oh, oh, damn. And then no way, actually, right? Okay, we're just spinning out of control now. Great flying today, huh? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. All right, now let's uh, uh, switch planes. Okay, so we're in this Q400 plane. Stick around with me for a second, because there's a reason we're here. I remember this plane, this add-on plane here, has an interesting feature that where we can really, really precisely set the weight and balance. Actually, we can modify every passenger. So, for example, here in this Q400, we can set um, male passengers or female passengers or children here. It's a uh, man, woman, child. Okay, obviously men are a little heavier, women are a little, you know, not heavier. What am I saying? And we can literally place people here. I mean, we can try, for example, removing all the people here from the front and moving them to the back. And let's just see what's going to happen, actually. And I can already see here the center of gravity 72%. <laughs> going to be a little bit of a funky flight here. See, especially if we now see a lot of people behind the landing gear, like right here, which, you know, this is going to be interesting indeed. Let's try doing this. Okay. That's actually, this is interesting now. Let's make the whole back section of the aircraft now male dominated as well all blue plane still standing that's a good one. Oh wait no huh. wow that is genuinely pretty cool too many male people in the back maybe we can seat some uh, males in the front oh actually two males fix the whole center of gravity wait wait if we place two people here there we go plane lifts down again wow <laughs> that is how fly that is actually so cool and it's actually pretty accurate as well it's measured for every seat and oh we're back on our, our nose landing gear let's maybe see uh can we seat some more people in the back 
Isn't this just great? You know, at this point, this flight simulator has turned into some sort of Sims game where you have... Whatever, let's just go ahead and take off. <laughs> Plane is really... Oh, rip nose gear. Plane is really not happy with what is going on right now. Okay. I mean, it's not overweight at all. That's not the problem. It's just the proportions are not right. And why is this window? I cannot get rid of this window. Help, I want to take off. All right, good. Now, let's take off and uh, let's take off. Let's not do a tail strike, which is something, you know, the Q Runner can easily do anyway. So, um... Oh, wait, we're actually flying quite well, aren't we? I mean, okay, let me uh, see. Can we uh, get some more people here? Ha, <laughs> yes! Even mid-flight, we can change the seating arrangements or maybe throw some people out. How about we throw out all the children, all the women that are on board here that are up front and uh, get some more men in the back? And this video has gotten weirdly sexist, but it's great. Okay, let's go ahead, see what's gonna happen. Can we change the weight of the men? No, I can't. Oh, wait, you have to be kidding. <laughs> this is so funny. You can actually change the season and, uh, you know, pretend like people are weighing more in winter. You know, between summer and winter, and it presumes that people in summer weigh less, right? Okay, let's go set to winter mode for sure. And the center of gravity is way off. I mean, you can really tell. We're trying to really just climb out of here, but this plane is heavily, um, you know, tipped towards, tipped towards the tail, right? And if we take off like this, it's really easy to spin this plane out of control. And this is genuinely, this is very dangerous of a scenario. Just imagine if you get, you know, into some turbulence, some bad weather or something that is something you really really do not want to get into of course not at all but this is actually way too funny anyway okay but there's some more planes that have this feature here in the flight simulator okay so how about this a320 for example from flight factor we also have this interactive menu here you know for example here in the C part again in the back of the plane let's just pretend that we don't have any business class passengers on board and no economy B people on board so literally we have 60 passengers on board and all of them are in the back how's this big a320 performing well it's still got stairs on it that's holding this plane to the ground <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, it doesn't tip off just yet. <laughs> I like the uh, Q400. We can, oh, we can even do some cargo action. Okay, we have, of course, a few cargo bays. So let's just remove some of those cargo that's in front to... Let's move that to the back. There we go. To the fifth and the fourth row. Great. This plane should really start to be tipping over soon, dude. Plane has become real heavy. Let's go ahead and take off. There we go. Let's just get out of here, this Air Berlin plane. All right, let's just see. I mean, we, we, we should probably be able to somewhat fly, right? All right, let's go. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, again, we really gotta be careful here on the control suit. If you pull up too much, then this plane will probably just die. Honestly. I thought, that, I thought the plane was just gonna tip over, right? If we're pushing too hard on the controls, maybe? Maybe some uh, rudder input in there too? We're literally sideways now. Why is nothing happening? Maybe we're not heavy enough here in the back. Let's go and uh, add some of that heftiness. All right, so that is a perfect takeoff here as well in the A320. What can I say? I mean, this is also a nice add-on plane. We can, uh, for example, oh, we're now spinning around in circles. We can watch YouTube here in the browser. Center of gravity, am I right? Just, just what happens, right? So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. So you're on YouTube like Block, Mubarak, Junk in the Trunk, Rafal, Old Man the Human, DJ Straw, Deload, Tyler Park, In from Osk, Garkum, uh, Stefan Smithofer, Moritz Wilhausen, Tuppy Cook, uh, Great Crime but John, No to You, no, Larry Deslama, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, Philip Terrier, uh, uh, Science, uh, Mass Collegue, Rodolfo, New York, Oli H, Bliviation, Cheese Doritos, Shadow.